Exactly. You're already on Medicare or you're approaching 65. Our next guest can help you find the right plan. Sarah Flood is a senior advisor with FHK Insurance that's been helping clients for over 50 years. We're so excited to have you here in studio, Sarah. It's so nice to meet you, Tiffany. Thank you for having me here. I know. So this is the first time um, for you being here on the show. So tell us a little bit about yourself. It is. Yes, I'm glad to be here. So I was born and raised in Milwaukee. I've been with FHK as a licensed advisor for about six years now. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not selling insurance, I'm quite the foodie. I love to cook and bake, and I also do a lot of hiking and yoga. We're gonna we're gonna prove that sometime <laughs> when you're here next. We're gonna be like, all right, bring in some to. of these baking <laughs> items. All right, I like that. That's right. actually good to know. I think it seems like you know, as we've talked to different people, Nikki's been on the show uh, the last time that you guys keep pretty busy. Sure. So, what are some of the things that people commonly ask you? Because this is something that you find all the time that you're getting a lot of repeat questions because it can be confusing. Absolutely. So yeah. our Ask FHK efforts have been going very well. We're getting a lot of good questions. Um, basically, you can go, you can call FHK, ask us any questions about Medicare or health insurance in general and we're happy to help so one question i get often is why do i need private insurance if i already have my red white and blue medicare card my a my a which covers inpatient hospital care and my part b which covers outpatient care like doctor's visits and lab work why do i need to buy private insurance on top of that and then what's the answer so when you have your original medicare that's only going to cover about 80 percent of your medical costs so you don't have coverage for that remaining 20%. You also, with Medicare, you don't get coverage for those nice extra benefits like vision, dental, gym memberships, things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're going to want to look at a, Med a Medicare Advantage program or maybe a Medicare supplement with a prescription drug plan because Medicare doesn't cover prescriptions either. See, that makes sense because I've often talked about the fact that my mom wears hearing aids. She's right. wore two hearing aids since she was 18 and they're very expensive. Right. Often they're not covered under regular insurance, which blows my mind. And so that can be super expensive. Those costs add up for people. So what else right. do you get questions on? I assume it's things like that. Absolutely. So another big question we're getting lately, I actually just talked to my client about this last week. Will Medicare ever call me directly and ask for my Medicare number? And is that the scam? This is the scam. No fact, way! It's this nationwide scam, it's pretty scary. So, so Medicare won't call you? They will not. Medicare is never going to call you directly. That's important. Okay, so talk a little bit about the scam and, and how it works. This is something people are going to want to know. Absolutely. They will never call you, and what will they? What are they saying on this scam? Sure. So what you'll probably see is a local phone number coming through on your caller ID, which right. is, just makes it more confusing. And then when you answer, there's someone on the other end asking you, hey, I want to you know, update your Medicare benefits or update your Medicare ID card because they're you know, these flimsy paper cards. They're going to give you a new plastic card or something like that. So they're asking you for your Medicare number, maybe your social security number. And before you know it, they've maybe transferred you to a live agent and they can mm. switch your coverage right out from under you before you even know what happened. Really? Right. Okay, so what's the takeaway from this? Just Because I think sometimes people think they're going to get a call or sure. maybe they've made a call recently. I, that can be so confusing. Very scary. And the main takeaway is never disclose your Medicare number to anyone over the phone who you don't know. Um, and you know, if there's any, if there's any uh, children of parents out there who, you know, of Medicare parents, please pass this information along because it's really something to look out for. It's become nationwide lately. See, that makes me so angry that people would ever choose to prey on seniors. It's terrible. I mean, anyone in general, but seniors for sure. I, right. I, even my mom, like, if she can't even hear something correctly on the phone, she just assumes it's her fault, sure. not the person on the phone. It's so scary. You really have to be careful. Wow, okay, so um, do you get any other questions that you we wanna do. share? Sure, so this one pertains more to like the Medicare supplements, Medigap policies. Um, I had a client ask me, you know, I have this Medicare supplement, my friend has the same Medicare supplement, but she pays less for her, you know, her out of pocket, for her deductibles and things like that. And the answer there is the riders that she has. Oh, okay, so what is that? If people haven't heard the word rider. Sure, so if you have a traditional Medicare supplement, this is really like a package deal that's going to cover all those gaps that your Medicare isn't covering. And there are various riders that you can add on to build out your policy. They're, they're relatively inexpensive, but they can really, you know, help you avoid any big surprises with expenses down the line. So that seems helpful. Absolutely. I recommend, you know, uh, calling someone like FHK, a local advisor, and just review your policy just to see what you have built into it. If there's anywhere where you can maybe beef up your benefits a little bit. Perfect. So we've got just a little bit of time left, um, less than 30 seconds. If someone's turning 65, what should they know? Sure. So first of all, if you are still working and you have an employer group plan, you might have some options there versus joining Medicare or staying on the group plan just to see what your options are. 
And second, it's really nice to work with a local advisor who can yeah. take a look at all the plans for you. Um, you'll pay the same as if you went straight to an insurance company and bought a plan directly from the insurance right, company. Right, there's no upcharges, it's, right. it's the same. Right, there's no charges for yeah. someone like FHK where I work. So you can call and get a free review and they will look at all of your healthcare needs and do what's in your best interest. I love it. Sarah, you were good. <laughs> it's so fun <laughs> For to a be newbie, that was great, you were <laughs> awesome. You. That was, I think that was so helpful for people, so thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thank you for having me. <laughs> you bet. All right, well, you won't get a recorded message when you call FHK Insurance at 414 228 you might even get Sarah, you never know. You can also visit their website, askfhk.com for more.